The story of the Hawker Sea Hawk begins in the mid-1940s, when the world was just beginning to appreciate the potential of jet propulsion. Initially, designed as a land-based fighter under the designation P-1040, the aircraft was swiftly adapted to meet a rising need. The British Royal Navy sought a new jet fighter to operate from its aircraft carriers, and the Hawker design proved to be the right candidate. Before it was allowed to take to the seas, the prototype underwent rigorous testing. Engineers and pilots pushed the aircraft to its limits, testing its speed, agility, and stability. After a successful maiden flight in 1947, the Sea Hawk was given the green light. By 1953, the first production Seahawks were already serving with a fleet air arm. The Seahawk is a straight-wing monoplane, a design that was both simple and reliable. Its heart was the Rolls-Royce Nene turbojet engine, propelling it to speeds of over 600 miles per hour. One of the most distinctive features was the bifurcated jet pipe, which enabled the exhaust to exit on either side of the rear fuselage. This ingenious solution not only prevented the deck of the aircraft carrier from being scorched, but it also gave the Sea Hawk its characteristic look. The Sea Hawk served in the Suez Crisis of 1956. Sea Hawks from the aircraft carriers HMS Eagle and HMS Albion played a crucial role. Despite its success, the introduction of more advanced aircraft led to the Sea Hawk being relegated to secondary roles, and it was phased out by the Royal Navy in the late 1960s. Throughout its service, several variants of the Sea Hawk were developed, each with its own set of modifications and improvements. This included the FGA-6, a ground attack version, and the FB-3, an enhanced fighter-bomber variant. The most advanced variant was the FGA-50, which was exported to the Netherlands and Germany, strengthening their naval capabilities. The Sea Hawk didn't fade into obscurity after retirement. It remains a star attraction at air shows, and holds a place of honor in several aviation museums around the world. Its legacy lives on in the form of the Sea Harrier, a successor designed by Hawker Siddeley, that combined the Sea Hawk's naval prowess with advanced technology like vertical takeoff and landing. The influence of the Sea Hawk extends well into modern aviation. Its innovative design and operational success laid the groundwork for future generations of naval aircraft, contributing to the advanced jets that we see today. The Hawker Sea Hawk may not have the same fame as some of its contemporaries, but its role in the evolution of naval aviation is undeniable. It bridged the gap between the piston-engine fighters of World War II and the supersonic jets of the Cold War, cementing its place in the annals of aviation history. And with that, we conclude our journey through the life and times of the Hawker Sea Hawk. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this.